Well, hello, LinkedIn. This is Kevin Turner with TNT Brand Strategist. And I just wanted to walk you through something new on LinkedIn. Just came out. It's still in beta, so it has a very limited distribution. It is for premium uh, customers on LinkedIn. And it's actually uh, something that's made by Microsoft. It's called Microsoft Designer, but now it's integrated into LinkedIn. And we now call it design and basically what it does is it allows you to create a canva for your post you do that by typing in a prompt right much like you do on chat gtp you're going to tell a little bit about what you want and be descriptive uh, maybe throw in some colors um, potentially tell them what you're trying to accomplish because what it's going to try to do is create a image that works for you so that you can then post with that now that image can be downloaded as well. It can be further edited. If you have Microsoft Designer, it can be imported into Microsoft Design. So all those things are great, really makes it very flexible. Now, um, one of the things that we're gonna do is we're gonna jump in and we actually have the ability to add an image and we're gonna upload an image uh, from our desktop or you could even do this on mobile, believe it or not. We're going to upload that image and uh, pull that in because what we want to do is be able to bring in things that we can use outside of templates. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually going to add a picture of me. Nah, no big deal. Um, you could add multiple pictures. Then it will look to ways of blending those in and pulling them together. So you have two options, generate and generate image. Generate is going to create a image for you whereas uh, the other one is actually going to give you things that are kind of already pre-populated right um, and it's kind of a wormhole because you can go down there it'll design things like you'd say uh, or want a, a jack russell in an astronaut suit it's going to create it art wise so what we're going to do is we're actually going to hit generate and it's generating the design right now for us because we've done that and it usually takes a few moments so uh, bear with it. It will go through. It'll also show you some examples as, as we're processing. And then it's going to populate what it thinks you want based on, you know, what you've provided it. So these are some of the samples of what uh, might be possible. I'm actually selecting one that is behind me. So there it is right there. Let me put myself back in. Um, I might even move myself over here if it allow me to. Uh, so right now, this is what it came up with. You can go in, uh, you can move through different examples of that particular one. Now, what I'm doing here is I've, I've grabbed one of the title things. You can change the title in its uh, uh, geometry. You can make it bigger. Uh, you can move it to different places within uh, the graphic itself. And so all those things are kind of editable. Um, you can also set the visibility level, you know. Um, is it opaque or not opaque? Uh, is it behind or in front? Um, one of the things we're going to do right now is look at, uh, we've got a lot of different fonts. It is Microsoft, so they've got a lot of fonts at their hand. Um, they're not quirky fonts, uh, you know, in the sense of uh, some of these uh, structures have uh, fonts that are a little off. They almost look like what you're used to. Um, these are actually Microsoft fonts. So you can go in there, you can select those. Um, they also have it so set up so that you can pick it out of category, like friendly, fun, handwriting, you know, professional, those kind of things. So you get categories that you can choose from. And, you know, that's kind of very handy in, in building this out. Uh, very quick to use. Um, I'm just going to go to a sans, sans serif, uh, and find something that's not too fancy, and that's what I'm going to use. Um, I'm going to go with that... Uh, there you go. Maybe a retro uh, is, a, is an option or something like that. Now, here's where you can bring it to the front, which means the that actual graphic or the title area that you're moving on will move to the front of the picture. You can bring it to the back of the picture. You can set the opacity, right? How far it kind of looks like it's in front of or behind. Um, and, you know, to me, those are all kind of really neat uh, options. Very flexible in that sense. So here it is, I put it behind. It really doesn't make too much sense. Uh, as the title goes, you can change the colors. Um, you can actually preset uh, color palettes. So uh, if you're in designer for Microsoft, you have the ability to set these in. Here, they're gonna give you some options that you can try. Um, 
but still much better than not having a palette at all. So one of the special effects you can kind of see off to the side, um, you can do things like um, completely edit things out. You can drop out the background, you can blur the background. Uh, here I'm going to go ahead and I think I'm going to take the background out here in a moment so you can kind of see that. Um, there it is. It's going to take a second. It's going to take that blue right out. If that were a more complicated background, it would still do a really good job of doing that. And I like that. Um, you've got effects, so you can go in there and uh, set um, kind of color saturations. You can do them manually, or you can do them by kind of pre-selects. So uh, we'll go scoot down here a little farther because we already talked about these. Um, so here's your filters, right? So those are your pre-selects. I actually like the light one a little better than the normal one brightens me up a bit um, and you can actually go down even farther and you can you know set the you know a little more manual in that process so I like that kind of neat you know pulls all together um, so you can also then take your picture in the middle which is what I was on there because I was doing the background on it I actually made that part of the um, foreground or you could make it part of the background so it'd be behind the titles um, just like you could do with the titles themselves. Uh, so that's very creative. Uh, it gives you a lot of room to kind of move these graphics around. And it's all inside LinkedIn, which I think is fantastic. A lot of people have been using Canva um, until I think uh, Microsoft Designer came out and then a lot of us with uh, Enterprise Microsoft went into Designer. Um, but it really gives you a lot of flexibility. So I thought I would show this to you. Uh, I may go into uh, a little more into the design of um, uh, art elements to it uh, on the next video, uh, but uh, I thought that was kind of a good way to start. Now, these are backgrounds that you could pull in. If you wanted to pull in backgrounds, you could type in what you're looking for. It's going to create those. So one of the things I thought, ah, maybe I can get a handshake in here. So I'm going to look through their graphics for handshakes. All of these are royalty free. You don't have to worry about any of that. It's already built into the system. Um, I'm going to go ahead and select one of these handshakes. And what I'm going to try to do then is eliminate the background, right? We did this earlier with the, with the main picture. And then from there, well, it's kind of awkward. It doesn't really fit in here, but we're kind of showing you the example. Where do I put this? I don't know. But remember, you can also adjust how it's aligned, how big it is, where it is, and you can move it around the screen. So, you know. I could try that. I'm going to expand it here, put it off to the side. I still don't really like it, so I'm going to get rid of it. That's an option. I'm just going to delete that. You could try other things, but it gives you the ability to really kind of layer these pictures a little bit more than maybe what you're used to. Now, you do have the ability to bring in, you know, kind of pre-sampled um, template uh, sayings and things like that. They're already there. You can use those. Uh, you can actually retype them if you want to use what they look like, but you don't like the wording. All that's available in here. I think I throw a grand opening. Makes no sense at all, but we're just trying to show you what's going on here. Um, you can change the color of the font as well. You can see the little circle up top. So a lot of flexibility. And I wanted to kind of introduce you to uh, design. Microsoft Designer and let you know um, you can uh, download this again to your computer or you can go right into putting it into your system. Now these are um, basically brand kits, right? So color kits that go well together and you can use those. If you had Microsoft Designer, you can design your own brand kit and I'm hoping that that will come here so that I can put together my colors that I like and consistently use those as I build my graphics. That to me is, is a huge step. It's what's missing here today. Um, and I hope that changes very quickly. So I just, uh, I can download this. You can remove the watermark and that's a actual digital watermark. It says that this was designed by AI and you can remove that if you don't want it. That's your option because you now own this and I think that's kind of neat. Make the background transparent if I wanted to put that onto other things. All really kind of cool, very useful, very easy to use. And I think that's where LinkedIn has gone right with this use of AI. So love it when they get it right. 
they also provide you the option to give feedback straight to Microsoft. So if I didn't like something in this process, I can go in there, I can actually fill it out, I can include screenshots, I can include my own contact, and they'll follow back up with me. Now, that means they're also probably following back up with LinkedIn. So this is really kind of cool connectivity in the sense of customer service. So that is create a design or design that's now part of LinkedIn as a beta with premium. So hope you get to try it out. Fantastic uh, to use, really simple, really easy, very creative. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, like, share, tell others. I do appreciate it and uh, hope you have an incredible week. Take care. Bye-bye.